Zell Bunchin is an idiot, okay? There's some kind of talk that she's going to end up divorcing Tom Brady. Okay, listen, listen. You're you're on the wrong side of 40, okay? I think she's just about 40 at some point or another. Brady's 45. She is old as shit and has two kids, okay? You're not going to do any better than Tom fucking Brady. What the hell is wrong with you, okay? Work on your shit or you're just going to end up traveling down a long, lonely path that is only going to end with fucking suffering. We've seen it happen many, many times before, and if you're too stupid to realize that, I'll just go ahead and fucking connect the dots for you, stupid. Now it's my turn. Oh my god, she's just, she's been on Tom's case for a long fucking time, and why he's put up with it, I... I I don't know, man. Uh, I've heard a couple of different things that he's got like a really strong family and he wants to keep it together for them because that's the only type of family structure that he knows. But you fucked a supermodel who got alpha widowed by Leonardo DiCaprio and that's the, the, the fucking price you got to pay. I guess you got to hold an L every once in a while. Like she's been out of pocket a bunch of different times. Like I remember one specific, okay, one thing specific. Uh, the Patriots made it to the Super Bowl. I know, shocker, in the past 20 years. Who would have ever seen that coming? But uh, she was mouthing off after she got off of an elevator. I remember this, but I couldn't find the clip, okay? If you guys were sports fans in on or around that time, I I forget exactly which Super Bowl it is. I'm not even going to try to remember at this point. I think it was one of the ones that they lost. So it was probably against the Giants or something like that. So whatever. Giants or the Eagles. Okay. One of those two. One of those two. Anyways, focus, focus. Anyways, back on that. Uh, she was bitching, whining, complaining because Tom Brady threw a pass to, I think it was Wes Welker. I'm pretty sure it was Wes Welker. He ended up dropping it or something like that. It was a pretty easy catch. Something that would have got them the first down or something like that. And she was ranting and raving how everybody is incompetent. She looked like Hitler during that fucking downfall scene okay that she was just uh, getting all of her incompetent generals around to just rough up the place there were a bunch of media personalities and a bunch of journalists that were around just listening to her ranting and rave and tom was of course taking the diplomatic approach when it came to that and didn't hear anything about them two afterwards but if he's allowing her to be that out of pocket in public something's significantly wrong sure giselle bunchen is giselle bunchen she's a superstar she's a supermodel oh my god but at the end of the day the wife regardless of how fucking famous she is is going to be the reflection of the husband and if she's out of pocket and she's fucking ranting and raving like that that reflects poorly on you tom you can be the most decorated football player of all fucking time when you eventually retire maybe at the end of this year who knows maybe you're just going to do the brett Favre victory tour and then just bounce around from team to team until you just end up fucking collapsing on the field do you buddy i don't care you still have lost more super bowls than joe montana ever did so i'm not going to call you the goat okay especially the way that you're handling your wife in this situation like what the fuck dude but it's not about Tom in this situation because we already know that he's lost frame and now he's just fucking spiraling out of his situation. So I just want to focus on this lady that doesn't realize that the grass isn't always greener on the other side. And just because you think that, oh my god, I'm so bored right now. All I have is just a wonderful family with what? two kids okay if you take a look at most famous sports players okay or most revered sports players if they are to make a mount rushmore on it tom brady's face is a most certainly going to be fucking on that list like who else is out there okay tiger woods maybe but again take a look at his proclivities behind the scenes i'm pretty sure that it's not exactly all that comparable even though Tom Brady definitely had the opportunity to be doing what Tiger was, okay? He's not going to be on there as well, or on that level. Michael Jordan? Oh, you know what he was doing behind the scenes as well, okay? And so did the mob when he ended up chasing him out of the league there for a couple of years. Anywho, but who else? Who the fuck else is on there? And you think you're going to be getting any one of those motherfuckers? I don't think so. so. It's a long, lonely fucking road if you think that you're going to reinvent yourself when you're just about in on or around 40. Giselle Bungeon says it's her turn to restart her modeling career and chided NFL star husband Tom Brady's decision to retire uh, oh, to retirement U-turn by declaring, I would like him to be more present. Selfish, selfish bitch. I heard a story. I think it might have been when Patrick Bet David was on Fresh and Fit. I'm pr I think that was him. I think that was him who said that... Uh, his theory behind this whole thing and why this whole scuttlebutt is happening is because Tom was probably going to retire at the end of last year because he made that statement or at least the statement got leaked out to the public and um, knowing the fact that Giselle has that big fucking mouth, something that he didn't allude to, I'm pretty sure it was him, 
didn't allude to, but I knew her history and the fact that she has a big fucking yappy mouth. At least what PBD was saying was that, oh, maybe she ended up leaking it to a friend who ended up telling a friend who told another friend, and then eventually it made it out to ESPN and one of the big wigs that were out there, and then they leaked the statement that Tom Brady is retiring after an illustrious 20 odd career, okay, seven Super Bowl championships, and Tom Brady not being happy by having his big decision leaked to everybody, just decided to go along with it for a minute, but then wanting to, mm, I kind of want to end things on my turn, coming back for one more season, only to just leak it on, call it quits at the end of the day on his fucking terms. I think there's probably some validity given this announcement here. Speaking to Elle magazine, as rumors swirl, her marriage is on the rocks, Giselle said, I feel very fulfilled as a mother and as a wife. Now it's going to be my turn. Are you selfish? Selfish. You have everything in the fucking world that you could ever want. Like it says, I feel very fulfilled. I feel. But again, this is a woman running on emotions not on logic. Her relationship with Brady, 45, reportedly hit the rocks after she returned home from a solo trip to Costa Rica. Why are you letting her go out on a fucking girl trip? She's a, your wife, Tom. And don't think that she's going to end up taking you to the cleaners when it... Oh, well, maybe because she retired. Hmm. That's why you don't get fucking married. But yeah, anyways, because of his decision to unretire as a Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterback after a glittering career... That right there was written by somebody who has no idea what American football is. Insiders previously revealed that they had not yet pa er, patched up their rocky relationship. Could you imagine dragging all of this into the fact that he's going to be entering his 21st or 22nd season? Him, at 45 years old, playing the most physical team sport where he should be thinking about his future, his health, and his team exiting on a high note? No, 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 he needs to start worrying about his fucking bitch at home. Unbelievably selfish behavior. The old blonde said that she feels that she has been depicted as desperate for her husband to retire. Sure seems that way now, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, she's just gonna spurg out and go to fucking Costa Rica when he goes into training camp and then has to step away for a couple of weeks in order to, I don't know, put his fucking woman in check. Well, here's the problem, Tom. You already lost the frame in that relationship. She said, I think this is the system we've been living in. You think? Well, you're a part of it. You should have a little bit better than a thought on the, si on the situation. That's what society has accepted. And what society hasn't accepted. What are you talking about? Obviously, I have my concerns. It's a very violent sport, and I have children, and I would like him to be more present. He is present. You live in a big fucking mansion that he fucking pays for. Your kids are in the best schools. You have the opportunity to take all of these stupid fucking modeling jobs, go to all of these fucking shows. You think they'd be inviting your old ass out there? Which, again, it's not like you look bad or anything like that, but, again, you're getting aged out of an industry that is very, 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 very vain. I've definitely had those conversations with him over and over again. You can just read between the lines on this one. She didn't want him to play football. Tom Brady is a football player. It's called a power play. Constant shit tests. But this, you know what? Hey, if they end up breaking up over this situation, this wasn't it. This happened even before what I said about Wes Welker and her lashing out on that. He failed a bunch of different shit tests. Shouldn't have got married when he was playing. Should have done the Derek Jeter thing who you could probably put up on that fucking Mount Rushmore Hall of Fame when it comes to, I don't know, prolific sports figures and prolific womanizers as well. Be Derek Jeter, okay? Fuck everybody that you can get a hold of. Jessica Biel, Jessica Alba, Cameron Diaz, okay? Like, that dude fucking laid more pipe than General Electric. And then, after he was retired, he bought a share in the Miami Marlins, okay? And then he got married to somebody considerably younger than him. That's the way you fucking do it. Not somebody's hand-me-downs. Christ, that's why I can never give a full-throated endorsement to Tom Brady. Giselle headed to Costa Rica. Oh, to her Costa Rican home. Oh, it's her Costa Rican home? I thought that they were like a couple and I thought that they were a family, but she has a Costa Rican home. Okay. Oh, uh, without Tom at the beginning of September, after having a blowout argument with her husband, who she has been married to since 2009. She spent time in her home in Central America following reports that the duo were fighting over Brady's sensational decision to rejoin the Tampa Bay Buccaneers after a brief retirement. Brady is expected to retire for good at the end of the 2022 season. I would just continue to play after this. It's like, fuck it, you gotta teach this bitch a lesson at this point. You end on your 
own terms. But his wife did not amend, oh, attend the first game of the season on Sunday. Well, that's nice. He admitted he was a bit banged up after the game on his Let's Go podcast, saying, I woke up today going, holy shit, there were a few hits. Brady added, you look at my arm and you got bruises, you got cuts, and you go, okay, how much longer do I want to make this commitment? I hope and pray he does not get seriously hurt during the season because his mind is obviously elsewhere. I obviously made this commitment uh, for this year and everything's going out to be like always, continue to evaluate all of these different aspects of playing. He agreed to retire from the sport and spend more time with his family, but then the U-term decision allegedly causing friction with his wife, insiders claim. Yeah, that is that must be from a long fucking time ago because that's the way that that shit should look. Okay, that was earlier this summer. Oh, okay. Not knowing the full context of that picture, he does look a little pissed and she looks a little anxious and that's the way that it should be, but that's not where we're at at this point. Okay, now we get a little bit more insight here. Uh, but despite their time apart, the celeb couple manages to... S- Oh, marriage is still on the rocks, and Giselle allegedly hasn't returned back to their home in Tampa, Florida, which is what a good mother should do, right? I'm fulfilled as a mother, so that means that I don't need to be a mother anymore. Giselle added, I've done my part, which is uh, to be there for Tom. I moved to Boston. I focused on creating a cocoon and a loving environment for my children to grow up in and to be there supporting him and his dreams. Yeah, this is marriage material, okay? Especially not in today's age. Like, just fucking stop it. I moved to Boston. He is the quarterback in 2009. Okay, how many championships had the Boston, or not the Boston, the New England Patriots won at that time? I'm just going to check my sources. They had already won three fucking champions, or championships, sorry. And then they wouldn't win for another six years after he got married to you, which was just after 17 and 1. So, hmm. but again, you made the sacrifice to be with one of the most accomplished, even at that time, NFL quarterbacks of all time. Then putting the children first. How are you ever going to be a top tier wife if you're putting the children ahead of your husband? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Seeing my children succeed and become the beautiful little humans that they are. Seeing him succeed and being fulfilled in his career. It makes me happy. So fulfilled that he had to go back. Hmm. Interesting. It's almost like you're disconnected from your family and from your husband's wants. Hmm. It's almost like you put them in two different piles. You have your kids, which you feel direct responsibility over, at least partially, until you just decide to spurg out and go down to Costa Rica for a couple of weeks. Good on you. Good reflection of who you are. And then you have your husband off to the side. Oh, he's being fulfilled. I'm just helping out every once in a while. So what do you mean by that? What do you bring bring to the table as a wife? Well, I'll cook and I'll clean and yeah, cool. Things that a maid can do. How adorable. At this point in my life, I feel like I've done a good job on that. That's nice if you feel like it. Have you though? But I feel like. I have a huge list of things that I have to do. Like what? Uh, that I want to do. At 42, oh, I feel more connected with my purpose. That's adorable. Brazilian Giselle and the legendary quarterback who married in 2009 share Vivian Lake, 9, Benjamin, 12, and Tom also has a 14-year-old son named John Edward with ex Bridget Monahan. Monahan is an actress best known for pa- er, playing Natasha at Sex in the City. Oof. Just weeks ago, after Brady's preseason game with the Buccaneers, he alluded to potential family issues, telling the press conference that there's a lot of shit going on. Yep, no doubt. And it's all resting on the shoulders of a 42-year-old has-been. Because let's be completely completely fucking honest we've seen this trajectory play out before somebody who decided that they wanted to get their wings okay i missed out on all of my good years i gave them all of my good years because they got married oh what 13 years ago she's 42 right now let's run that back she was 29 so she was right smack dab in her epiphany phase when she decided to get the best possible candidate that she could the nfl's top quarterback no coincidence there at all whatsoever and then right now with the fact that she's 42 years old seeing all the movements of all of the other 42 year olds that are 40 to 42 year olds let's just get to a little bit more broader when it comes to that all the different what all of her contemporaries all of her friends that are out there okay the kardashian girls that are out there just bouncing around from dick to dick to dick to dick at 40 something years old just looking super fulfilled in their life their life decisions but she i was i was married during my 30s i gave him all of my best years yeah sure we have some kids and sure i i'd never have to want for anything in my life and that my husband's one of the most famous people on earth but i'm 
missed out on something, okay? The exact same thing that we've seen with our good old friend Paulina Porzakova at 57 years old, having to put scry or scraggly asshole fucking bikini pictures in order to inflame conversation around that. Oh, people say that I'm old and ugly, a 57-year-old having to put her old ass on fucking Instagram in order to say that, hey, you still got it, girl. Is that what you want? Is that... is is that the future? Is that the future that you want right here? Having to fucking model on Instagram. Unbelievable. The grass is not always greener on the other side. Sometimes that grass is fucking paint. Like, I don't, I don't understand where your thought process is on this one. You're just strictly run on fucking emotions. I can do better than that. You're 42 years old. You have two kids. Do you think that they build Tom Brady's on fucking trees? Do you think that they're just one around every fucking corner? Somebody who's going to go down as one of the top five, okay? And in most people's list, probably the number one greatest NFL players of all time. As opposed to you. Yeah, sure, you're a supermodel. Sure, a lot of people know your name. But there's a hot batch of 18-year-olds every fucking day. But no, this is the future that you want. Supermodel Paulina Porzakova, yeah, back in the 80s, was clearly feeling in a cheeky mood this week when she happily baited cruel internet trolls. Imagine that, a woman who has a family, okay, she was in a relationship, she married a le the lead singer of the Cars, one of the hottest bands of the 80s, obviously, and then, you know, just decided once he had, what, brain cancer or something like that, that, uh, yeah, I don't really need to check in on you anymore, and I just want to kind of punch out so I can just, you know, experience all the best Black Hawk in my life that I possibly missed out during our, you know, our relationship or whatever. But now, not going down with the ship, not recognizing her vows, she has to be like a blue-haired land whale on social media trying to troll up some interest and bait the trolls on fucking believable photo of the 57 year old is seen posing with her black her back to the camera while leaning on a pillar in a revealing cheetah bikini cheetah how appropriate the model posted the photo uh, to her twitter along with the caption troll bait a 57 year old woman in a bikini who's not at all feeling old and ugly sorry not sorry trolls you know it would have been appropriate and i'm not even sure anybody would have actually responded to that you should have just let it be should have just had no captions because that's she's just looking for attention which is ultimately what giselle is doing as well i got the front i got the cover of l magazine giselle rides again you're 42 fucking years old how many times do you think that you're going to be out there again you don't look bad and neither does paulina even for the fact that she's 57 she's a good looking 57 years old okay posts this shit on twitter on instagram and i guess you could probably find some people saying that you look terrible i guess when you compare against your 20 year old self yeah of course okay she's gonna lose that competition a thousand times out of a hundred but you know what she posted this on twitter let's see all the different hateful comments that she's accumulated on this post all right so we found it right here it took a little while to find okay she got 1600 comments uh, 477 retweets and this was all the way back september 8th so uh l let's just see right because she's on twitter of all places i'm sure she's gonna get some of the most the hateful comments from the different bots that are out there which you know what hey man it's not like a, some recent discovery on twitter hasn't found that there's a substantial amount of bots that are on there but anyways no for sure uh my 62 year old wife and hers okay that's just big hate on that one. Oh my god she even commented on that that's getting all the attention that's out there um yeah no and then you compare and contrast her back in the day and jesus fucking christ like so many others i think you're still quite good looking now uh not that i would think you should care what any of us on the web think yeah no exactly if she actually had a fulfilling relationship okay she wouldn't be having to troll for attention on the fucking internet but i'd also like to note that it seems disingenuous you rail against uh, the same industry and stereotypes you helped bolster when you looked like this oh my god my fucking hero her or whatever the fuck you are you have far too few followers, my guy. When you were 17, you were railing against a system that oppressed... Oh my god, this is literally the same fucking argument that socialists will say. Oh, well, you have to use the system in order to just want minimal improvement, So She also done, doesn't understand that, yeah, you're in an industry that appreciates youth and beauty. You now lack... I'm not going to say you aren't attractive for a 57-year-old, but there is that big fucking caveat on the end of that. But again, if you weren't, if you didn't look like this, if you didn't look like this, 
You never would have had the opportunity to get any of this attention. You would still have that intrinsic desire for male's attention because let's be honest, that's who you're fucking trolling for at this point, okay? You want that relationship. You want that last second buzzer beater to go through the hoop. You want to try to shame somebody into a long-term relationship, which is never going to fucking work, okay? But you can believe me or not, I'll probably, maybe, eh, I don't even know if I'll fucking leave a link to this one here. I don't normally do for Twitter posts anyways, but I went through all the replies, or at least most of them anyways, the ones that aren't hidden, and uh, none of them are objectionable at all. All of them are just, you look so lovely. But that's the future that you just chose, Giselle, by causing all this fuss for your, well irreplaceable man but hey man it's very appropriate that you're standing in a field right there right now you think that the grass is greener on the other side but you're just gonna find out that on the other side of that brush a bunch of sad old women trolling the internet saying i used to be hot once and i'm still hot now and then them just giving them a little tap on their head oh you're so adorable you can still go out there and you can still get attention somebody will fuck you okay and probably without a rubber because at 57 years old i don't think you're really popping out any more eggs at this point but you'll still get all the male attention in the world Everybody will tell you, oh, you look so good. You'll get the little likes. You might even get the little retweets that are out there. You'll get the shares in the world for other people just saying, look at how good this 57-year-old is. But you're never, ever, ever going to get another lead singer of another billboard topping. And you're never going to find another one, two, three, seven-time Super Bowl champion. Women, you need to understand the concept of hypergamy. You need to understand that... Hmm, just because you think you can do better doesn't mean you're going to. But hey, if you want to try to bait the internet trolls in your fucking 60s, be my guest. With all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.